Welcome. We are going to lay out a level in Unity today. Uh, so you're going to, after you've got your tile sets done, you're going to use those tile sets to create a level in Unity. Now the first thing you need to do is open Unity. Uh, if you're on a Macintosh computer, in the upper right hand corner there's a little magnifying glass. Just type in Unity uh, and open the Unity Hub. Now I've got my Unity Hub open right here. It's going to look a little different than yours. Yours is probably going to be white. Uh, this one is is a beta version, so um, I guess depending on when you watch this video will depend on what this looks like. But right now, um, I'm in the current uh, beta Unity Hub. Anyway, so we want to create a new project. So we click on Projects, click on New Project. Right here, we're going to give it a name. Uh, I'm just going to call this one Tutorial Test and a location. I'll just put it on my desktop for now. We also want to make sure that we select 2D from the template list and hit Create Project. It's going to take a second. It's got to build out all the files that it needs to set up a project. While it's doing that, um, I'm just going to make sure I know where all of my sprites are and uh, so that I can have them ready to go as soon as Unity opens. Uh, most likely your sprites are going to be in downloads. I'm just pulling some sprites from some of these, uh, from some of the earlier lessons that I did. That way I know I'm going to get the right sprite sheet that I want. So let me just copy this and paste it on my desktop. And it looks like it was already there, so that's okay. Okay, so here is my Unity. A um, couple of things to note, down here, this area is your project area. This is where all of your files are going to sit. Um, this is where you're going to organize your different files. Over here is the hierarchy. The hierarchy shows you everything that's in your game at the present time. So the hierarchy will show you right now all that's in there is the main camera. Um, but as you start adding sprites and other assets, those will show up right here. Uh, over here on this side is the inspector, and I actually have one extra window. I'm going to pull this off, and I'll show you later in this tutorial how to bring that in. Um, the inspector on this side over here, it's going to show you details related to individual, fi individual objects. So, for instance, if I click on this camera, in the inspector, you're going to see there's a bunch of information related to that camera. And this is going to become really important later on, especially when we start bringing in our characters. Um, but for right now, we're just going to lay out our level. And to do that, you can start in a number of different ways, but I'm going to start by bringing in our sprite. Now, I can leave the sprite just in this general area, um, but I like to keep things organized. So I'm going to create a new folder, and I'm going to call this one Sprites. Okay, and then within that sprites folder, I'm going to go, oh, don't want no reason to open my calendar. Um, I'm going to open my finder window, find my tile set, which I put on my desktop. And let me sort, sort by name. It's going to find my tile set and just drag the tile set into my sprites folder. And then I can go ahead and close those finder windows. Now right here, when I brought that, bring that in, it brings it in as an individual sprite. What we actually need to do at this point is we need to cut this sprite up into different pieces. And to do that, we're going to just select the sprite, go over to our inspector. Um, and before I actually start cutting it up, I want to do two things. One, right now it's set to single mode, meaning that it sees that sprite as just one image. I want to hit multiple. And what that's going to do is it's going to allow me to cut that image up into several different pieces. I also want to go to filter mode because this is um, a pixel art style game. I'm going to turn off, turn this on to no filter. Now if we were bringing in other assets, so let's say I did um, created a tile set in Photoshop and I did really high resolution. Um, the filter can come in and help do what's, uh, get rid of what's called anti-aliasing where the lines can be a little bit jaggy. Um, but we, we want those jaggy lines. We want it to look that way. So we hit multiple sprite mode and we do uh, no filter and we hit apply. Okay, now I can go in and open the sprite editor. And when I open the sprite editor, you're going to see it's kind of squished in. So I'm just going to pull this out a little bit. That'll help me see things a little bit better. So you can see that here is my tile set. Now you want to cut this tile set up. And I recommend doing it in one of two ways slicing it either by cell size, which is the number of pixels by the number of pixels, or by cell count, which is columns, the C, and rows 
So I guess I got that backwards. So rows would be left to right, columns would be up and down. Um, but I know that this is a 16 by 16 pixel tile set. So I'm gonna go to pixel size and change that to 16 pixels by 16 pixels and hit slice. And you'll see that that cut that up perfectly. Now, if for whatever reason you're like, oh, I thought it was a 32 by 32 and you slice it and you realize that it didn't cut up correctly, just change those pixels and re-slice. Once I've got those sliced, I hit apply and I can close the sprite editor. Now, here's a mistake that a lot of students will make early on. We've, we've cut this up and now a lot of students will come in and they'll just start dragging in their sprites. Now you can do that, however, it's gonna do a couple of things. One, it's not gonna be accurate, so dragging those in and trying to line them up can be tough. And two, it's gonna create a whole bunch of assets in our hierarchy that are going to be unnecessary. So I'm gonna go ahead and just delete these. And you can actually delete anything in the hierarchy by um, hitting Command and then Delete, or if you're on a Windows, Control and then Delete. If you just hit Delete, it's gonna do the bonking. So I'm going to hit Command Delete, and that gets rid of that. Okay, in order to be able to use these, we're going to use what's called the Tile Map and the Tile Palette. The Tile Map is essentially a canvas that we can paint our level out with, and the uh, Tile Palette is the paintbrushes that we can use to paint our tiles out with. So in order to get started with this, uh, I'm going to create a Tile Map. So I'm going to right-click and hold in the hierarchy and go to 2D Objects and hit Tile Map. And that created this little grid here, and I'm zoomed in. But this created this grid that I can start painting out my level. Before I do that, though, I need to create a set of brushes. To create our set of brushes, we're going to go to Window, and then 2D, and then I'm going to open the Tile Palette. Now, I closed this one a little bit earlier, but this is the Tile Palette. And you can leave it floating, um, especially if you're not using your whole screen. Um, I actually like to just drag it either on top of my inspector or just right next to my inspector. And the way that you can move any of these windows is if you just click on the word, you can click and drag it off and over. So I'm on tile palette right now, so I can click it over here and then have it and my inspector. doesn't really matter. Once your tile palette is open, you need to create a new one and give it whatever kind of name you want. This time I'm just going to call this one grass and hit create. It's going to ask me where I want to save it. I want to save it in my sprites folder of my project. And now that I have one to create, I just drag my sprite sheet over into the tile palette. It's going to ask where I want to generate these brushes. I hit choose. And it starts laying out all of the tiles. Now the tile set is set up perfect and I can start painting out my scene. Um, to use this, it's actually really nice. You can just click one or more shapes and start painting. Uh-oh. Notice how my tiles are a little bit too small and my grid is a little too big. This is a simple fix. To get to fix this, we go over to the grid in the hierarchy. We look in the inspector, and in the inspector, you see where it says cell size. Now, right now, my cells are one by one. This is actually 100 pixels by 100 pixels. So I know that my sprite sheet is 16 pixels by 16 pixels. So in order for this number to match the tile set size, I just change it to 0.16 by 0.16. Now on yours, it, it really depends on what your tile set is. If your tile set's 32 by 32, it's going to be 0.32 by 0.32. If your tile set's 64 by 64, it'd be 0.64 by 0.64. If it's 128 by 128, it's going to be 1.28 times by 1.28. Once you get that figured out, you can start painting out your level. And the beautiful part about this is you can drag them individually. You can create entire sections. So in other words, I can create just this entire top section. I could then select even just one tile and use the this little square button here and click and drag across to fill an entire area. If I've created a tile set similar to this, so if I've gone in and I've kind of got this filled out, what I can do is I can, so I'm just going to try to, make a little box here. The beauty of, of this, of, of, of using this tile palette is let's say I want this entire section to be filled with those kind of uh, little squares. So I can just click on the fill bucket tool and fill in that area. So this is really a, a very powerful tool. 
So what your job is going to be is to basically draw out a level. Now I know some of you have created some elements. So if you look here, I've got some flowers. Well, right now, if I draw out my flowers, if I draw out flowers, those flowers are actually uh, will will likely have a collider on them. And I, I don't really want them to, I don't want the character to walk on top of the flowers. I'd like the character to either walk in front of the flowers or walk behind the flowers. And what if I wanted to have a background? So what if I wanted to take and make, let's, let's just drag out a big old thing. Maybe I want this to be a background. Well, you can do this and achieve this really easily with layers. Um, the best way I found to do this, to accomplish this, um, this layering is to create multiple tile maps and each tile map would represent a different layer. So uh, one tile map could be the background, one tile map could be the foreground, one tile map could be um, like the midground, like where you walk on. So for uh, just for our purposes, I'll create three um, and you can even rename them if it helps. So like right now, this tile map, I'm going to call it for or uh, I'm going to call it midground. So in other words, this is going to be the middle of the scene. I'm going to create some new grids by or some new tile maps by right clicking and and it's important that you do this inside the grid so I'm going to right click on the grid and hit 2D object and hit tile map that creates a new tile map I'm going to do that one more time uh, so I'm going to go to grid 2D objects tile map and I'm going to rename this tile map background and I'm going to rename this tile map foreground now those aren't in any sort of order right now. I can reorder them, order them, but the order in the hierarchy does not matter as much as the layer or ordering. You'll see that here in just a second. Okay, so once I've got the different tile maps ready, I'm ready to start creating the different layers and um, cre creating different what we would call sorting layers. So if I select on any of them over in, in the inspector, you're going to see where it says tile map renderer, and then you'll, you're going to see additional settings and sorting layer. Right now, default, that is the main layer, le level. That's what I want to be the main, the main la um, layer. Um, if I want to create new layers, I just hit add sorting layer and it opens up this little window and I'm going to add one that's going to be the background and I'm going to add one that's going to be the foreground. Now, um, this is a little bit backwards and I, I may need to move these around um, just in case I screw this up, but I'm pretty sure that the top layer is the back layer, and then it goes down from there. So this would be the background, this would be the midground, this would be the foreground. Now, in order to get these layers to work, you actually have to come over and select in the hierarchy the tile map renderer. And right now, this says uh, midground is default. That's what I want. I'm going to make the background the background layer, and I'm going to make the foreground the foreground layer. Now if for whatever reason if you're drawing these out so let's say I've got these flowers and for whatever reason they're in the wrong order you can always open up the little sorting layer and just drag them until they are in the proper order. And that's it that's all you got to do and you should be able to start building out your level relatively quickly. So um, oh, I put that on the midground la layer and I don't want that on the midground layer. Let's put that on the background layer. And I can drag that in. You can see I'm in the background right there. So that should get you started. Um, so what you're going to want to do at this point is start drawing out your levels.